Welcome back to Living 808. He is a local boy who's living his dream. Kalama Epstein plays Noah on The Fosters, a popular family drama show on Freeform. He joins us this morning uh, to talk about his experience being on the show. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, I have to start by saying I told my 12-year-old daughter yesterday <laughs> that uh, you were going to be on the show today. She is so excited. Oh. Uh, she's going to come on down to Pro Ridge Center, her and all of her friends, just to meet you. Oh, that's uh, nice. <laughs> but she's a big fan of the show. Tell us about your character on The Fosters. Okay, so I play a character named Noah. Mm -hmm. um, I play Jude's boyfriend. Jude is the youngest child in the Fosters Adam family, the main family that the Fosters focuses on. Um, and he's an openly gay, uh, his mom's a pastor. He lives in a very accepting community, and uh, and you know it's 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 all about him and Jude finding their way through the world. They're just young teenagers, just like I am, and uh, you know they're just struggling with everyday teenage problems and figuring out life for themselves. I've heard great things about this show because it really talks about issues, like you said, that's facing you know young teenagers today. Um, um, but it's kind of cutting edge, right? Yes. I mean, there, you've got issues on the show that people are facing today. You know, it's an incredibly groundbreaking show, and I'm so proud of it. Um, just the other day on the show, we had the first, uh, we, we, I mean, we have, we've had a lot of groundbreaking stuff with trans rights and, and trans issues um, and gay rights and L pretty much everything LGBTQ yeah. plus um, all around, and it's been incredibly groundbreaking, and I'm so proud to be a part of it. How did you get into acting? So I got into acting maybe around... And I was nine or ten. Uh, I was on the islands. I love, always wanted to be a director. Always been in love with cinema and film. And my mom tells the story as I I eventually came to a moment. I was making little short films, and I eventually came to a time when I felt like I couldn't better direct my actors. So I asked my mom <laughs> put me in an acting class so I can better direct my actors in the short films. And this and is when you were like nine or ten? around probably eight, nine, something like that. And uh, and so I got put into an acting class here, and I just found another passion, fell in love with it, and eventually I. I told my mom to take me out to L.A., and she thought I was crazy, but we did it, and it's been incredible. That's an amazing story. I mean, so many local kids dream of doing what yeah. you're doing, and, you know, I'm sure you've got, obviously, you've got supportive parents, yes, you know, incredibly. who believed in you, but it's also, it takes a lot of work. What has your experience been like in this industry? Experience has been crazy, um, especially going out at such a young age. I went out there when I was late 11, early 12. So it's a whole new world, especially growing up in Hawaii, coming out to Los Angeles and, and diving headfirst into this crazy industry. It's been an incredible experience and was very overwhelming at first, but I definitely feel um, feel like I've gotten used to it now. Yeah. It's, been, it's been amazing. Well, we are proud of you. I mean, this is very exciting. Yeah. Um, so you've got your role on, on The Fosters, but you also have a new project coming up. Yes, uh, it's a show called Liberty Crossing. It's going to be streaming only on an app called Go90. Um, but it's a workplace comedy that takes place at the National Counterterrorism Center. Um, it's written amazingly by Daniel Radosh and Michael Harrison, um, directed by Todd Berger, and we have an incredible cast. It's hilarious. Uh, I couldn't be more happy to be a part of this. That is very exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. Um, we are very excited because you are one of our judges yes. at tomorrow's CW yeah. Star Search at Pro Ridge Center. Um, and you've gone through lots and lots of auditions, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. What advice do you have for the people who are coming down tomorrow and who are trying to be our next CW star? You know, I'd say my best advice for them would just be to be yourself. Um, show us your true personality. Um, don't hide anything. Just be yourself. Have fun. Enjoy the moment. Show us who you are. And I think that's I think that's the best way to go. Yeah. Is that what you're going to be looking for yes, tomorrow? Yes. Definitely. I want to see. I want to see your true self. I want to see your personality. I want to see you know what you can show us. You know what you can bring and. And I just want to see them for who they are. Yeah, and have fun with it. Yeah. Uh, we are so excited to have you uh, be a part of our judges panel. So we look Very forward excited. to seeing you tomorrow. Come on down, uh, whether you're auditioning or not. You'll get to meet Kalama and, and our other judges. Um, but it's really a wonderful opportunity for people who are interested in 
being in front of the camera. I mean, totally. this is a wonderful uh, opportunity for somebody just to kind of get their foot in. So yeah. um, our current CW star, Mikey Moniz, has done a wonderful job. So um, hopefully they have seen some of the work that he's done. He's on Living 8 to 8, yep. you know, Monday through Thursday. So, um, yeah, it's been a joy having him. So we're looking forward to you meeting him tomorrow as well. Awesome. I'm yeah. looking forward to it myself. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Kalama. Right, Coming